Hi, this is a story from a long time ago. There's some point in our lives where we are able to start remembering the um, details of our life and where our memories kind of begin. For me, I have snatches of memories from before I turned six, but in general, I have been able to remember things that happened in my life since I was about six years old. So this is a story, one of those early stories. So when I was six, the, well, I turned six in the summer. So the summer that I turned six, my older brother and older sister were on the neighborhood swim clubs, swim team. And each morning our little family would get up, um, either my mom or my dad, and my, there were four of us, the four siblings would get into the car and go to practice. And it was nearby, like less than five minutes by car. And my younger sister, in general, my mom and I would just wait and watch practice. And it probably only lasted about an hour. So it was kind of no big deal. So later in the afternoon, almost every day, if it wasn't raining, my family would head to this neighborhood pool to spend the afternoon. It was so much fun. There was a pretty large baby pool and the water there was like from ankle deep to knee deep. And it had this cool mural painted on the bottom of the pool. And then there was the main pool, which was a six, six lanes wide, 25 meters long. So maybe 20 feet wide by 25 meters long. And that's obviously where the swim team practice was and swim meets were. And the main pool started out about three feet and went to six feet deep um, very gradually as it went down to the 25 meters. And then we were lucky enough that there was a third pool at the swim club and it was a diving well. The diving well was a square, probably something like 20 feet by 20 feet, but it was 12 feet deep. So that was very exciting as a little kid to, you could almost not see the bottom. And the diving well had um, two diving boards into it, like a one meter and a three meter high um, diving board. And there was concrete decking all around all three of these pools. So absolutely no running on the concrete because it would, was um, disastrous if you fell. And then outside the decking, there was a lot of grassy areas where families could bring chairs and blankets or and families and, and then older um, older kids could set up for the day, um, enjoying the sun and the pools. So partway through that summer, I decided that I wanted to join the swim team. I was done watching. I was, was going to jump in. But in reality, what I really wanted was one of those absolutely cool matching swim team suits. They were this sweet blue and white kind of pinstripe, very narrow striped swimsuit. And it seemed like everyone at the swim club in the afternoon had one of these swimsuits. So I really, really wanted one. I re so the only requirement for um, make, being on the swim team was you had to be able to swim one length of this 25 meter pool. Well, I couldn't do it. So my parents decided, well, maybe if I had some swim lessons, I could, I could build up to it because I could get partway there. So, um, it was, uh, the swim lessons would be two weeks. So, so kind of 10 lessons, two week, weeks of like, a, I think about a half an hour lesson. Um, and it would happen after some practice. So my brother and sister would get out, I would get in. I'm not really sure, maybe my younger sister also took lessons, can't really remember what she was doing. So after the first week of lessons, I had learned how to do the side breathing in the freestyle, but I still couldn't quite make the 25 meters. So about this time, I guess my parents were trying to help me out. So that weekend and, and maybe even near the end of the first week, like every day, my, one of my parents would take me into the water, kind of not to play. They'd say, oh, swim to mom. 
and she would keep moving. Oh, now swim back to where you could stand because I could stand in the three feet, but I couldn't, I wasn't tall enough to stand anywhere else. So, oh, swim to mom, moving again, swim back. Well, what they were trying to do was build up my endurance. So the next week swim lessons continued and by the end of the two weeks, I could in fact swim the, the, the required 25 meters. So I asked to join the swim team. So what I didn't understand as a six-year-old, really no concept of it, uh, whatever, it was the end of July. It was the end of the swim season. So the swim season was only eight weeks long and it began in early June with like a couple of weeks of practice. Then meets began somewhere around like June 20th for five weeks. And then there was a week of no meets that, that culminated in a championship meet on a Saturday at the very end of July or early August. Here it was the end of July and I wanted to join the team. It was a bit of a dilemma um, that I wanted to join in this. It was maybe the last week of meets, but the lifeguard who was my swim teacher, swim lesson teacher, also helped coach the swim team. So she arranged for me to join the team for that solid week. So the final week of the season, I swam laps with the other little, little kids, six or seven year olds in the diving well, which was total chaos. No, <laughs> yes, back and forth as many times as we could go. A lot of tag going on. And, um, and that's the story of how I joined the swim team. But the downside is I was too late to get one of those cool swimsuits. So I would have to wait until the next year and many years after that to get a matching swimsuit with most of the other kids at the swim pool. So that's my story, learning a matching swimsuit.